thanks to you, we don't have to be afraid anymore. Oh, don't worry. I'll give him something new to be afraid of. You know, your victory speeches could use some work. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. <laughs> Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Ready for that interview, Blue? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to go with the satirical approach to this article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. What do we do now? You can stop standing around. Someone get a doctor. Solomon. Is a sin. Someone has to do gut. something. Plus the fall from the elevator. I ain't gonna make it. Just let go. It'll all be over soon. He's part of the institute. I voted for the mayor twice. Oh, he was with the Blade institute this whole time. Deadly. 